Hello, YouTube friends. Hope all is well. I wanted to come on today and talk about uh, simple tips to growing your natural hair. And um, I just wanted to say before I start, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And also please share your comments. We'd love to hear what you would think and also some of your tips. Um, I wanted to do this because um, when I started, um, when I started the process, I should say, of, uh, say of growing out my natural hair, I, um, I I started making it complicated. And um, when I said complicated, it's um, the the moment I decided I wanted to um, grow my hair um, naturally and the ending process it's the in between that made my process complicated because then i started thinking what types of oils i need to use what types of butters etc learning my hair um learning what my hair loves and um i realize um i've been um natural seven years now and i realize that this process can be so much more simple it's us that make it complicated because we want to make sure we're getting the right products and um um i i say keep it simple because um especially in um in um with life today um i'm a busy person i'm on the go all the time i have a young toddler so i want something that's gonna be easy for me um to be able to do to my hair and takes the stress of of always thinking you know um about what do I need to do? And um, I came up with just the the simple steps. Our hair is always growing. That we know it's always growing. But what I do is I started looking at plants, how plants grow. And I realized that plants grow by just being moisturized. You have to water them. And it's just like our, our hair is like that as well. We know that the first thing we need to do is to moisturize or um, add moisture and that moisture is water and um, once you um, um, put water on your hair what I do is I just um, spray I have my spray bottle and I just spray a little bit of water on my hair strands and you know just rub it in and then I use an oil and um, oil doesn't have to be a lot of oil you know I remember when I started um, I wanted to go get this oil avocado oil um, a hobo oil I was getting all these different oils but then making it simple is it could just be one oil it could be two oil oil that's in your house already so I use the um um, olive oil because I cook with that so I use olive oil I use coconut oil I mix them together just to make it simple so that's what I do I first put water then I put on oil and because I have fine hair as you can tell from my last video I have very fine hair so I use uh, just a little bit of oil on my uh, hair and make sure you definitely focus on the ends make sure you put a lot of oil on the ends of your hair because we know with that studies have shown that the um, oil oldest part of our hair is the ends and that's where it can break off um, if we are not careful and um, the third thing is you can seal all that in with a butter and I use shea butter and um, I love shea butter um, it, it makes your hair very soft and it nourishes your hair so I love that that's what I seal the, the, the moisture water and the oil with and um, those are just my three products I just make it very simple Simple. And um, it works. I've been doing it for, I should say, um, as I said, I've been natural for seven years. In the first couple of years, like the first three years, I was making it complicated with getting all these different products. But then um, the last uh, four years, I started just making it simple. And that's all I use water, my avocado or coconut mixed oil. And then I, I seal it with a butter and that's it. And your hair grows at the same, you know, it grows the same as if you would use all these other products. But um, we know that hair growth doesn't have to um, be complicated with using all these different products. Um, I just find that simplicity is good 
for my lifestyle it makes it easy for me and that's what i like anything that makes life easy i love that so um i just wanted to share that and then of course we know we take care of our hair either it's with protective styling if you're doing that just to give your hair a break and not be in it all the time trying to manipulate it all the time so i do do that i do a lot of protective styling of course i do um wigs and um and so forth but um i do love protective style of course make sure that at night either you have a sick silk pillowcase or a silk bonnet and i'm telling you that really is a game changer of course before i started uh, my journey of becoming natural i knew nothing about this stuff so thank god for the different different um avenues of um the different influencers on youtube um that was able to pave the way so i was able to make my own way in making things simple from learning from what they did so um and of course we always talk Talk about being patient I remember when I just started and I you know was doing the the first week the first month and stuff and you're like is it growing what's happening but it, um, the saying rings true that patience definitely is is key because we know our hair is growing and you will start seeing results in probably three months or so I have a cousin that um, that um, started her journey I think like three years ago and um, her hair Hair is just thriving now and she's like oh wow I had no idea that my hair can get this long and it, it is just so good when you're able to share with other people what works for you you know and um, I remember when my sister started her journey as well and um, one day she called me and she said Claudine I had no idea my hair had this type of pattern or here when she washed her hair she saw the curl she saw her hair texture and she said wow I have had no idea my hair was um uh, was like this so it is so good when you have decided to really uh, start growing your hair natural to really see the beauty of what God has created our uh, uh, um, um, good hair or beautiful hair doesn't have to be straight hair you know it, it, it's natural beautiful kinky hair you know and it, it is so good I look at my hair and I'm like wow you know I really can grow my hair long so um, also it has to be a mindset make sure you have the mindset that I am going to do this and if if I put in the work then I know that I will get the result and um, I am telling you it will work so I just wanted to come on here and just give my simple tips of what work for me and um, let me know if you have any questions as well please comment below let me know what works for you and um, if you have told someone if you were a testament to someone to tell them how to grow their hair and how it had worked for them and what they have said to you I love hearing testimonial because that's the reason why um, we are allowed to go through something so we can it can be a testimony to someone else to pass it on so let me know whatever happened to you and again if you have not yet subscribe please do please comment below please like and um uh this is the end of the video i will talk to you in the next one have a good day bye bye